Good afternoon, Vikes. Today we're going to learn more about the Washburn Tech entrance test. I'm Madison. And I'm Kara. And this is your daily news. Auditions for the Spring One Act plays are today at 315 in the choir room. If you have not done so, please pick up an audition form from Diva and W18 or from its president, Madison Flory. The last Washburn Tech entrance testing that will be held at our school this year has been rescheduled for Friday. Let's go learn more about it. What's going on, Vice? I'm here with Mr. Alexander to talk about the Washburn Tech entrance test. So first off, what is the test? Um, the Washburn Tech started using a new test. They'd used the work keys test made by ACT before, and they kind of changed the reading portion of the work keys test. So in October, they had to change to a new test called the AccuPlacer. Um, it's all on the computer. It's kind of, um, there's no time limit on the test. There's two sections, the arithmetic section, which is math, and then the reading comprehension section. Um, the arithmetic section, I think what throws some students for a loop is you can't use a calculator on there. So it's not very hard math, but it's math that they probably haven't done by hand since they were in fifth or sixth or seventh grade. So kind of takes them a while to get back. That's why we've been giving out some packets with some practice questions. So when is the test? Um, we've given, we've had testing three times this year, once in November, once in December, and then this is our last time in January, and it will be this Friday from, um, we'll start at 8 o'clock, and most students will be done by about 10.30, 10 or 10.30. 10 All right. Where is it being held, and what time is it? So, 8 o'clock, the kids, students just come, they don't go their first hour, come straight to the commons, it takes a little, it, there's a kind of a procedure to check in, they have to have a photo ID, whether that be a driver's license or the school. Um, ID and then they um, um, will go in and um, take the test in the auditorium and then we'll provide computers for them um, to take that test. All right and then what are the requirements? So um, depending on what um, program you're going into they have different levels that you have to get it's kind of scored one through or three through six um you know and so there's like electricity you have to have better math skills so you have to have a six on the test um the accuplacer actually is a test that scores like between 20 and 100 and then that is then converted into a score you know between three and five so um you know so it kind of depends on the department or the program that you're going into on what scores you have to have but you have to have that test and those scores you have to pay a twenty dollar enrollment fee and then you have to make sure that you're that you've gotten all your like other um personal finance and success 101 and your two fine arts and then your pe and physical dimensions all done by the end of your sophomore year if you're going to attend a program that's a two-year program all right would you like to add anything no, I think that's good, but uh, we have a lot of kids that have been going to Washburn Tech, and it's a really good opportunity for students. All right, thank you very much. Well, now let's head back to your anchors. There are a few slots still available. See Mr. Alexander today if interested. Students who are enrolled in college classes, Friday is the last day to submit your SPIA application. Turn in your enrollment form into the front office. ACT prep classes are on February 15th in the library. Registration deadline is February 9th and the cost is $40. Pick up an application in C2 or the counselor's office for financial aid scholarships. Congratulations to the JV Scholars Bowl team for taking first at the competition last night. Now let's head over to Madison with the sports. During passing period, be sure to do the following. Keep the traffic flowing in the hallway. Always report bullying, PDA, and unsafe behavior. Keep the hallways clean. Arrive on time to class and always be prepared. Be a Viking. 
Respect the hallways. Seaman strong. Are you in need of a pick-me-up? The Writing Center has a way to help. The Writing Center has created a way to raise money for their team while giving the students something in return. There are many options to choose from, from $2 to $3 depending on the size. The Viking Brew is open in the mornings every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Stop by, you won't be disappointed. All males interested in playing tennis this spring, please attend the informational meeting this Friday at 315 in the Commons. Good luck to the divers who are competing in the Topeka High Invitational today. Now we're to care with the weather. Hey, how's it going, Vikes? It's currently 34 degrees and tonight will stay about the same and it'll be clear. For a three-day forecast, you have highs in the 50s and 60s and lows in the 40s and 30s. And Friday, it looks like you'll have some clouds. And today in history is John Hancock's birthday and it's National Pie Day. Now back to hearing. That's all we have for today, Vikes. See you all Thursday. Just pass.